The rematch option is in the works. It's been five months with that future missing, but now it's unofficially on the way. I say that because it's not officially announced by Bandai Namco or Spike Chunsoft, but data miners have dug up the files that has the components to the button root. In this video, I'll talk about why this option is more important to the longevity of the game rather than just being a feature that should have been in the game in the first place. Next. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Enigma Kage. I'm an anime analyst amongst other things. I hope you stick around, watch a few of my Jump Force videos that are available, and hey, maybe you'll even subscribe somewhere down the line. Thank you for tuning in anyway. As for the returning clan, welcome back guys. So Sergio M3 has dug up the files for the rematch option. It is indeed in the works. We should be seeing it in the next coming updates. The thing that was interesting about the roadmap when we was following it, it stopped at August. Despite there being three remaining characters at the release of Pack 2, which has Bakugo, Majin Buu, and Hitsugaya. So there's a two month gap in between the November speculated release date of Madara, Law, and Grimjaw. So September and October could hold the rematch option if it's not released alongside Pack 2. The arena event and tournament event missing from June and July could be pushed to September and October as well. We received the May Raid event in July. So, uh, I don't know, maybe Spike is working on Internet Explorer when they make these files. <laughs> no, no. The question is, would the rematch option be a big deal? The quick answer is yes. The long answer is maybe. Why I say maybe? It happens to fall on the borderline because the casual fans of Weekly Shonen Jump has left the game and jumped on the bandwagon of a next game. We know how they do it. The diehards are all suffering through the changes of Jump Force. Those who are diehards and left left because the game didn't represent the 50th anniversary and I totally agree with that. The anniversary game that has swept the iOS nation is Jampuni Heroes. They have represented the 50th more than Bandai Namco did this time around. Sorry for that sidetrack just now, but those who are still playing are likely playing friendly match. Ranked has gotten to the point of no return. People in this community bank on finding that cheese to win these matches. The frustration of not being able to fight that opponent again is unmeasurable. I have thick skin for most of the fights I have. If I lost, it was either you were just better than me or some cheesy stuff happened. I can confidently say I've had my best matches in friendly match than I've ever had in ranked match. I have a few subscribers I face. These guys are next level good. Whether win or lose, we are having a good time. The frustration of having to go back to the lobby and reinvite them makes matches on this game annoying. Think about it. We had to select the options, our characters, the stage, then invite them. That's four different screens that has to pop up on both sides. Then we load the versus screen that we have to load into the intro of the match. Then it starts. After one eats the L, you have to do it all over again. That is so annoying. Samurai Showdown has the private lobbies which allows you to rematch from within there and it takes seconds and you can invite more than one person to play along with you. Instead of a rematch option, they should have worked on private lobbies which would have been better. If the rematch option doesn't have a character select option, then this is a big L as well. And the rematch option does open the doors for more friendly matches, especially those that are somewhat competitive to the Jump Force standard. The rematch option allows you to be a bit more reckless with your picks because you're doing it for fun and you know that you can easily come back and play a game within seconds. I have a few friends that play Jump Force occasionally. They fought, they live streamed it on Mixer, right? And I watched them fight having a good time. One guy saw to get a loss, he immediately looked for the rematch option. As a content creator, I had to tell them some whack story on why the button isn't here yet. It's embarrassing. The rematch option would keep people on the server as well because believe it or not, Jump Force is really fun when playing with friends. I can't speak for my rank only brothers and sisters, but those friendly matches open up a carefree, fun experience over here. The rematch option is available against the bots, which to me is dumb because I don't care that much to fight them over and over again as I would do one of my friends. If you're thinking, well the most competitive experience I'll get is the ranked matches, then you're wrong. Just check out my Twitter showdown playlist. 
those are all five round friendly matches and these guys go hard in every battle. The reason why I don't have as many as I should up on the channel is because after about three games, both players are tired of going through the eight loading screens and call it quits. The rematch option will give life to the game. Jump Force can slowly finish off as a good game. They just need to give us what we've been kindly asking for. Does this make the game great? No. We still have balancing changes that I would love to see get fixed as well. The rematch option is number one priority at the moment, so let's start there. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment down below. Does the rematch option save the PvP aspect of the game or is it just too late? Let me know your thoughts. If you're not subscribed then, I don't know what you're waiting for. But as always, I'm Enigma, signing off. Peace guys. Cushy,